So you want to create a shadow, but the tune variety. Hey guys, welcome back to Touch by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender. And today we're gonna to be making a cool little uh, tune, like 2D style, kind of like you see in like Mario games underneath characters. I don't know how else to describe it. Really simple, really straightforward. Kind of like M Minecraft, like underneath mobs and in and in Mario, you know, in like games you see this sometimes, and in, a lot of times in cartoons as well. Just a simple shadow underneath our character. So we have Suzanne here, the monkey, the one and only. I'm gonna hit Shift A, and we're gonna add in a mesh. Circle now this circle is definitely gonna have the fill type of ingon and it's not gonna be on nothing Make sure this is on ingon um, and I'm gonna go ahead and hit s to scale this up uh, We're working kind of big so I gotta hit s a couple times, but yeah We're gonna scale this up. to about that size as you can see I have a floor right now So it is actually clipping with the floor um, Of course you're gonna need a floor so you know shift a and add in a plane and then just hit s to scale this plane up as well um, Yeah, so just hit, there we go. We have a floor we have a shadow. All right, so our shadow is obviously clipping to the floor right now. So we're going to raise it very slightly by hitting uh, G, Z, and then holding down shift, and then moving it up until you see it just peak right there. And now, as you see, it's, when we move around, when we hold our middle mouse button, middle mouse button, once again, to pan around, as you can see, it is still clipping. So we're going to go ahead and hit G, Z, hold down shift, and move it up again until it's not clipping. There we go. Um, as you can see... This doesn't have too many vertices, so it's kind of like sharp and whatnot. So I'm gonna actually go ahead to go to the modifiers tab, hit add modifier, and go to subdivision surface. And now you can just bump that up to like two, and then there we go. So now it's smooth. Uh, you could also you could have added more vertices when you added the circle, but that eh, I don't like doing like that. I like adding a little the subdivision surface because it's just easier to maintain. Plus we have less vertices. So um, all right, now we have this. It looks good, but the the problem is the problem is is that we need to go ahead and actually. Uh, make it look like a shadow because right now it's just a simple color as you can see it does not look like a shadow So we're gonna go to the material tab down here and hit this little plus button and this plus button We're gonna scroll all the way down here um, And we're gonna go to blend mode and we're gonna change this to I believe it is alpha Clip that might be wrong, but we'll see in a second. I'm gonna change this from principal BSDF to Transparent there we go transparent um, and then we're going to change our color to a blackish color, something like something around there, I suppose. And we're going to change the blend mode. Is it? It's alpha hashed. Is it not? Yeah, it's alpha hashed. All right. So you can change the alpha hashed. As you can see, we have a nice little shadow there, but it's kind of like grainy-ish. I'm going to change the shadow mode to none, by the way, because we don't really need that. Um, you can play around with a couple of these different ones, but the alpha, I believe it's blend. Yeah, alpha blend. There we go. Alpha blend is the best one because, as you can see, it has no grain or anything. So we can just, um, if you have this all the way to black, obviously going to be super solid black shadow, which would look good in many different situations. But for today, you can go in the middle, or you can even go up all the way to the top for a very slight shadow. I'm going to go somewhere in between those. I'm going to go for about right there. Looks really good. I really enjoy that. That, ladies and gentlemen, is how you create a nice uh, fake shadow, I suppose. And then to have this move around with the character, make sure you are selecting the sh the the shadow, and then hold down Shift, and then hit Control P, uh, and then hit uh, Select Parent Two. So you just select this bad boy, hold down Shift, click your character, Control P, set parent to object. There we go. And uh, now when you select the character and move them around, you see the shadow will move with them. Of course, it will always, all, 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 what am I, what's the word I'm looking for? It will, it will, it will always, always, is that the word I'm looking for? Always, I don't know English, guys. It will always move in every direction, so it'll always also move up with them. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that, 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 that's an issue. But obviously, like I said, this is great for um, model showcases and, and character showcases and whatnot. But yeah, that's going to be it for today's tutorial. Hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed it. That's really, really cool. Quick shadow you can do there. And of course, don't forget to actually have a lamp in your scene. And make sure you turn shadow off or else you will get the shadow uh, of the lamp as well. Which is not the shadow that we want. So turn that off. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it for today's tutorial. Hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.